masculine energy were to come into our life, we don't feel that it's safe to depend on it. The Bible says, wives, submit to your husband. The more attractive we are to men, the more valuable we are. I'm bored. I don't look for relationships. She has to clean, cook, do the dishes, do the laundry. If you don't love your duty, your function, your responsibility, you're not fit to be a wife. Is that what it is? Hmm, really? Now my Mimi and I'm Mika. Mika? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Mortar Life. Before I get into this video, I ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Also, smash that notification bell just to be sure you get in my videos as soon as I release them. Let's get right into this. Complaining that women won't submit to me. Man, she won't submit to me. The Bible says, wives, submit to your husbands. So first of all, if she's not your wife, she don't need to submit to you in nothing. Because you ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing. Number two, even if you are a husband, you better be a man of God and understand your place in God's hierarchy. And then you won't have any issue with your wife submitting to you in all things righteous. Now, granted, we ain't out here. You out here talking foolishness. We ain't going with that. We're going to do what is the right thing to do. So you should know how to lead and how to follow God's plan and understand your role in the relationship as the head of the house and then it doesn't matter how strong the woman is no excuses she will submit and there won't be any issues you no well no i get what you're saying but a woman is supposed to show a man she can submit in order for him to want to marry her she has to show something right and what a lot of women have a problem realizing is that the order of goals and as you said right the man follows God. The woman follows the man. She has to show she can be led by him first. But let me let, me let you finish. You don't have to argue about it. But if you're out here with your little girlfriend in these situationships, give it up. Ain't a woman submitting to you. For what? Because you're not doing anything. You ain't showing her anything. You ain't making no serious commitment. Why should she submit to you? I'm just saying. That sounds like being single. Yeah. Comment. See now, you see what she's doing? She knows Dawn, right? So she's talking like a church, a church crown ran lady. What a girl is doing in the church. Not the church I go to, but what are they doing in these churches? They're going to the club on Friday, sometimes Saturday as well. And then Sunday, they're high telling in church, halfway tipsy with a church crown on, saying, I'm switching my life up after they was giving it up the day before. Now they're switching their life up and they was giving it up. And then also a guy is with a girl and she's ripping and running. Not only is she not being submissive, she's also ripping and running and doing what she wants. Could you imagine? And then she's telling guys to marry that. A woman has to show so much more nowadays. It got so bad. Guys aren't hearing it. Woman Need to show a guy she can submit. A lot of times, what you find out is guys don't even want to do. Can we normalize that people also have this? We can and we should because it's coming for us all. This woman posted talking about the fact that at 38, she already has forehead lines. And when she looks around at other people, she notices that many of them don't have those same pronounced lines. In the comments, people absolutely flamed her. This woman's lines triggered a lot of women. And the reason for that is because we've been conditioned to fear aging. And the reason for that is because aging means that we have less proximity to men, less desirability to men. And we've been taught that the more attractive we are to men, the more valuable we are. Centering men comes at our own disadvantage because then we're afraid of ourselves and our natural body processes. So what can we do about it? We can embrace each other and stop treating. No, you got it wrong. Why do guys say that? Guys are telling you the truth. Guys say that so you can choose wisely early. Why are you saying after you run the streets until 40, Right? I don't know what that woman did, but if she's not married, she's probably not. That's why she's stressing. If she's not married at 38 with those lines coming in, she has a long road ahead. A long, lonely road. 
This is exactly what men were trying to say to her. And what you're saying, why we need to stick together, no. You need to find you a man. Desirability or attractiveness as a currency. The other thing is, if we keep on centering men in our aging journeys and we keep on throwing hate at women like this woman who made the video, then every time we see our own faces, we start to hate parts of it. I'm also getting lines. Even if my lines and her lines aren't the same lines, it doesn't matter because if you notice any line at all, you'll start to hate it. And that's not fair. We deserve to feel love when we look in the mirror. Do you have a man? Does she have a man? Do you have a man? If both of you not even have a man, do you have a husband? Because you're getting up there in age too. You need to find a husband. In order for you to find a husband, just as the woman was saying, submit, you got to marry for No, a woman has to submit first. You have to lay it down the line. But we have nowadays with this feminism, guys aren't even talking. Women are even going to have to start talking to guys to get them. It's wild, but let me let her finish, though. The only thing stopping us from seeing love when we see other women and also when we see ourselves is the centering of men. We are the world makers. We literally give birth to all the people who you see walking around here. How the f*** are you going to try to shame another woman for having a goddamn face wrinkle? We deserve to feel like the goddesses that we are. When we support each other, it's so much easier to create that reality. Come on, babes. Come on. The whole point went well over her head. As you said, right, it goes back to men. And men aren't saying what we say to make women feel alone. It's to include you with us. But some of them, some women will never learn. Why is it that women who struggle with men almost always struggle with money? It is because the two are connected. I went from being broke, making around $1,500 a month to now having a seven figure business in the span of two years. Let's talk about this connection really? and that how so? you can heal it for yourself. What feminine energy needs from masculine energy are two things. Number one, safety, and number two, trust. Let's go into safety first. If your body does not feel safe with masculine energy, it will push away all opportunities for money to come to you. Money and masculine energy and men, all three are connected. So, so single. So so single. So if you've been in an abusive relationship, if you had a toxic father growing up, if your feminine energy has never felt safe around masculine energy, it is not energy going to allow money to courses. come anywhere near her. Feminine you will glow. subconsciously com. sabotage opportunities and push away opportunities for that money to come to you. A crock of nonsense. Let me let her finish though. And now for trust. If your body does not feel it is safe to trust masculine energy, you will not allow it to come anywhere near you. There's two ways that this can happen. One is through a breaking of trust, such as a betrayal. Maybe you've been cheated on. Maybe you felt that your dad abandoned your mom. Or let's say that you feel you have to lead the relationship. Maybe you're splitting the bills with your man. You have to lead your partner. You have to be the man in the relationship. Now your body goes, we cannot depend on masculine energy. Therefore, if money, if masculine energy were to come into our life, we don't feel that it's safe to depend on it. Even if you know that it is, subconsciously, your brain will not let you believe it. Money's not masculine energy. Money is money. What are you, so you're trying to say the person's not going to want money? No, people usually have problems with money because they have broke mindsets. My point exactly. And once they break that, then they have a better relationship with money. But let me let her finish though. Meaning that all those opportunities that you actually have to make money right now, your subconscious is blinding you to see them. That is why you can see people around you making money and thinking, how come I can't do this? Your subconscious doesn't believe, number one, it's safe. And number two, it doesn't believe that it can depend on that money and on those opportunities to come. Oh, man. Now, this right here, I'm sorry. I don't know who this lady is from Adam. I just don't buy it. And you already see she's selling what? Courses. Some of that positive energy and when things line up and have to have your masculine set right and your feminine is not glowing, like, stop it. Get some help. This is being delusional led to you moving to Dubai. Now you feel the most alive in, in your feminine energy you ever felt. Is that what it is? Hmm. Really? You born like that? You moved to Dubai, huh? I wonder. I have to go work like a man every day, and a man goes work, and he's tired when he gets home. A woman's not tired. Cook, do the dishes, do the laundry. Are you kidding me? Why don't you want to do that? 
What are you talking about? Why don't I want to? You know right? how fucking tiring first, that is? Have you done that? First of Have all, you done that? I do it every day. First of all, <laughs> do not choose a woman who don't want to be a woman. You see how that woman said, Why don't you want to do that? The woman was straight mad. Why don't you want to do it? <laughs> Why don't you want to do it? <laughs> like that simple. Do it because you have to, because you're a human being, right? As a man, if a man is alone, he has to go home, come home, cook, clean, right? Same thing with a woman. If she's alone, she has to do that too. So because you're with a man, you don't want to be feminine towards him and do that for him? A lot of women are lazy, man. So you don't want to be a woman. No, you don't want to be a woman. You want something feminine and delicate. Yelling doesn't mean you're winning an argument. It's a sign of low intelligence. You can lower your voice and speak to me. I'm sitting right here. I hear you. And you're yelling. So all this, oh, I cook and I clean and I, yeah, that's part of your function. But when your tire is flat, my function is to make sure you have a new tire. But when that's your what car needs an oil change, it's my job to make sure these people ain't ripping you off. We have different duties and functions and responsibilities. And if you don't love your duty, your function, your responsibility, you're not fit to be a white. Emotional damage. Period. Simple as that. <laughs> what he said, I can add no more to it. Right? Men have a part to play. Women have a part to play. All men are saying nowadays is let's play it together. Women are saying, oh, hell no. They don't want to sing the same song with us. Me as a woman to understand that when I don't look for relationships, for hobbies. Mm -hmm. When you're bored, don't look for relationships. How many women have you guys or girls, or some of you may have done it, seen do that before? That's the problem with today's society of women. I look for interests that will help me become a future wife when I do meet that man. I need a world. It is actually pretty difficult to um, find a man that is under the umbrella of God. You know? That they're Christian and that they go to church, you know, that, that's enough. Being under the umbrella of God is different from knowing God. The, de the devil knows God too. That doesn't mean he follows him. Mm -hmm. Knowing who God is and having a relationship with God is completely different. You got to go through the process. You got to go through the work. What she's saying is real. She's talking she about going through the process and going through the work. She's talking about following it to the letter. Giving up sin. All of that good stuff. And most people out there aren't doing that these days. She was going deep, more deep than a lot of you guys know. Some of you guys do know, though. Hey, how y'all doing, ladies? Hi, 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 hi. Okay, what's your name? Namai? Mimi. Mimi. Namai? Erika. Erika. Who's up? Mika. I'm leaving. Mika? Oh, 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 oh. Y'all some hentai, mother. What was that? Do it again? What was that? Do it again? Oh. <laughs> now, I know y'all see it, right? Y'all see it. This is what black men are doing. And that's why it's so beautiful. And of course, he's in Japan. Just another day in Japan. Guess the ethnicity of these ladies. It's, it's Japanese. But you see so many brothers. And he's definitely a passport bro. Running through Japan. Running through China. And I don't want to say it in a bad way. Because they're not running through the woman like that. But guys technically are. They're out there having a the time of their lives. And that's why I'm happy to show it. Because you see these guys. See, this is my thing, right? You don't see guys going out there and complaining. Oh, these women are so like this. These women, you get a couple of guys that go to these places and complain, but those guys are not in it to win it. What I mean by in it to win it, guys that are placing themselves in the culture, and out the lady moving and shaking. This guy's moving and shaking. He's moving and shaking. He's talking, meeting different women. As you see, you go out to one of these countries, they're going to like you. They're going to find that you're interesting. They see that you're a brother and go, I want to see your personality. Now, do you notice something in the way he is, the way he's talking? He kind of moves and shake like, I know you guys look at me and go, I can imagine you doing that, Jay. So that's how you got to move. If you don't have it, it's kind of like you have to develop a personality somewhat. You have to develop a little bit of how to talk. So 
I know a lot of Paso Bros have said you don't need certain parts of game, but you do need certain parts of game. You need to understand seduction and how to seduce. Like, look up the art of seduction, things like that. Like, look up the book, The Art of Seduction, and use those things to your favor, right? Because it will help. And work on talking to women and get out there and knock it out the park. And I'm telling you, it'll be worth your while. Because you see here, that brother went to Japan, met three girls who want to give him the time of day. And more guys want to turn around and do the same thing, too. Because more guys are realizing it's definitely more to life than doing anything that's not that. We agree.